What up, YouTube? It's your boy Crypto Roots. Like, subscribe, share my videos. Let's get that real crypto game. And I got love for my folks. I got your back. Much love. Crypto Roots. Aloha. Aloha, YouTube. It's your boy Crypto Roots. And I hope everybody's staying safe um, out there in the world. It's really hot out here. Um, and today, I want to talk about my first experience with cryptocurrency. My first experience, like, how did I even figure out this shit? How did I learn about it? Like, and um, I'll never forget it because obviously it changed my life, man. And Hopefully it sparks some of you guys on your crypto journey, but let me give you the uh, the precursor. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Is um I was living in Hawaii. <coughs> I was living in Maui, Maui, Hawaii, and uh, I was work trading on a farm. It was it was dope, man. It, well, it was it was it was nice for me because I didn't have to pay rent. I just had to work, and the dude I was working for, I'll probably tell a, a little bit, or maybe I'll write a book or something, but the dude I was working for on, on the land, uh, the white family, um, he was teaching me everything. That's what's kind of was so deep. Like, he he didn't, it's not like a, it's weird. He didn't have, like, a son, and all the workers he had before didn't really give a shit, didn't care, or act like they knew more than him, and... So I was just like, yo, man, like I, to I told him. So I let me give me a precursor. So I told him before I moved in, uh, that family, it was like a, a, a pretty, pretty upper class white family, like with a lot of land. They, 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 were, they, they, they were financially really straight. And uh, they were just, I was looking for a place to stay and they were looking for uh, somebody to work on the land. So I wrote, that's a whole nother thing, but I told him what my mission was, what I was about, what I'm here to do for my own black people, da 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 da. And they were like, cool, we support that. Uh, you can stay with us. So they took me in and then they showed me how to farm. Like, that's what I learned. I learned all my home skills was farming everything. They, they took the time to, what money wasn't an issue at that point. I had my own space. Uh, I had internet. I was up in the jungle. It was like five acres and You know, they were getting old. They just needed somebody to take care of the land and exchange for the uh, for a place to stay Right, and I can eat off the uh, I can eat off the, the land and then deals worked out. It was it was a nice situation for a while Now that's where I was at. I was in the place where I was I, I was sleeping on the beach then I got my own space I'm chilling, I'm alone, but I'm in the jungle and I got a computer with the internet. And but I was struggling, still struggling. I wasn't I, I didn't have to pay rent, but I didn't, you know, I didn't have any money. Really, really. Um and then I started uh so that's why I did the farmers market. So I learned how to do the farmers market, I learned how to hustle, I learned how to like, you know, and that's why I, you know, they were like, Wow, you're a really good businessman. You you've never we've never sold this much this much food, like you really know you really know how to do this and I'm like yeah yeah so they're like all right we'll split the um, the, the labor with you 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 you, you p get some of the labor you make some of the sales we will cut you a check da, da 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 so it was nice so not only was I living there for free I was actually making money off the work I was doing plus I was hustling and then they split the bread with me like and so I was like in a real respectful situation I'm not gonna lie they really did look out for me I wouldn't be the person I am if it wasn't for um, for them and then so what that mean what that how that goes is I was hustling I was hustling and then I was selling at the farmers markets fruits and vegetables I was hustling right and I realized yo I'm gonna probably be a salesman I started writing a book how to make sell how to make big sales at the farmers market I still got to probably release that book um, and then that's where I met my ex my lady and uh, so I was selling I was hustling and I was like yo that actually she got a big booty that woman, she got a big booty, da 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 da. And eventually, like, I said something to her, and da 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 da. And then we hit it off, you know what I'm saying? Um, over some turmeric, over some turmeric. 
I was like, yo, hey, hey, turmeric lady, get over here. And she was like, what? Why would you, like, and then she just gamed her up, right? So she was an older woman, but she's one of the best loves of my life, and she still, she still is. Now, that's why I had to give you the precursor. How did I figure out all this cryptocurrency shit? So she was a mature woman, and she was very, very intelligent. She was extremely intelligent, and that's what I liked about her a lot. That's probably what, despite her age, I was like, yo, you got mad knowledge. Like, damn, you know? So that's really was a turn on for me, was uh, like sapiosexual. I was like really into her intelligence. And so she was always into like some obscure stuff that I wasn't into. Like I'm a young black dude, she's, she's an older woman, and uh, she's, you know, so we kind of like didn't have like the same kind of things, but we did have enough where we, it was a relationship. Um, so one day I was cleaning up, we were at her house and I was cleaning up or something and she had on the speaker, she was always listening to some stuff. I don't know. I don't know. You know, at the time I just thought she was kind of crazy, but I was just like still just kind of getting to know her. And she said, uh, she had a, uh, what are the best crypto wallets? I was, well, I was on the speaker and I was like, and I looked at the screen, I'm like, what the fuck is a crypto wallet? I'm like, this, this crazy woman's just into some more crazy shit. Like, what the fuck is a crypto wallet? And she looked at me, she's like, what? And I'm like, what? She's like, you never heard of Bitcoin? And I was like, no. And she just, she was doing the dishes. She just stopped. She was like, oh boy. Oh boy. All right, stop what you're doing, come over here, and let me tell you about Bitcoin. And and I was just like, I didn't know what to think of it at first. And I was just like, whoa. And she was like, oh, there's there's one coin, there's all these other coins, and, and I'm like, wait, hold up, whoa, 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 whoa. And then I went home, and then I looked up blockchain, and like, like I, I, I pretty much damn near came to tears. It's like, why would you, I can't, like, why would you cry over blockchain? No, it wasn't crying over blockchain. It was the realization that, like, somehow we're in a new paradigm. Like, I went through the portal. Like, my reality, I felt stuck. I felt stuck, and I, felt, and I couldn't ever figure out why. Why was I always broke? Why was I always on my own? Like why, I just couldn't figure it out. And even though I was doing restaurants, I was doing music, I was doing uh, farming, like I just couldn't, something, something, and I didn't know. And then when I looked up blockchain and I realized the potential and what it could, I just, I damn near came to tears. I was just like, yo, this is some of the greatest shit I've ever heard in my life. Like, like wow, like I just was so blown away. And then, yeah, that was, that's when I got hooked, man. So I, she bought big, two Bitcoins at $60, too. And she was trying to tell everyone, because she was, she's such a, she was such an intelligent woman. She was way ahead of the game, way smarter than most men. And she was trying to tell people, like, this is it. Like, this is it. You should buy Bitcoin. And all the men and businessmen she was around, she was like, no, that's stupid. No, that's stupid. That's a scam. No, that's stupid. And she bought two Bitcoins. So by the time I found out about Bitcoin, it was already $3,400. And I'm like, yo, you sit, and she was like, yep, yep, I'm good, I'm good, you know? And then she told me she took one of those Bitcoins on the way up and then reinvested it into some Ethereum and then some other coins. And I was like, wait, what is Ethereum? And I was just like, she's like, I'm like, yo, I feel like, yo, you have been on this game. She was like, yeah, I've been on this game. I just don't tell nobody. And I was just like, yo, man. Like, I was just like, we, we really hit it off on the crypto shit, me and, me and her. And, um, so she was telling me about the people she knew that got her into crypto. And she was like, yo, there's this dude on Maui, really, really stoner dude. You, you probably like him. He's a real, he smokes a lot of weed, just like, cause she didn't smoke weed. So that was always our big thing. She didn't smoke weed, I smoked weed. So it, she just didn't get me on the weed realm, but she respected it, but just didn't get me, right? She's like, so this dude smokes a lot of weed, so you'll probably end up liking him. Cause you guys are just fucking stoners. But he's a really, he's a computer dude and he's, he's the one who taught me about Bitcoin. So I'm gonna try to link you guys up, right? I'm gonna try to link you guys up. And I was like, dope, but it, it, didn't, it didn't really go down for a while. Um, 
but I was still learning about Bitcoin mining. I couldn't even believe it. I was researching like mining Bitcoin, like you, you can create Bitcoin from your, and then the dude I was living with, this is where I started learning how to like debate. And this is where I learned the dude I was living with, he got wealthy off, so he's, a, he's a software engineer. So he got wealthy working for like NASA and Com, Comcat. And you just tell me about all this uh, technical shit. And I didn't really get it. I didn't understand it. And then I, I, I thought he would be in the Bitcoin. I, I, I was like, yeah, you heard of Bitcoin? He's like, no, no way. Uh-uh. He was just so anti-Bitcoin. I was just blown away. Like, whoa, dude, you taught me about everything else. You're a software engineer. You got all this extra money. And I'm like, bring up Bitcoin. He's like, no. No, I don't want to find out you're mining and in, 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 in on my land or anything. And he got like aggressive, like, no, 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 I'm not mining. He's like, no, that wastes a lot of energy. And it's just like, whoa, whoa, this dude is just anti-Bitcoin and he's a software engineer. And he's been teaching me everything I didn't even fucking know. He, how, this is how I got this far. This dude was helping me out, almost pretty much treating me like a son in some cases. You know, it wasn't exactly like that, but... We were kind of avoiding it, trying to be like that because it was it wasn't. But it was like it was. I was learning from him, and I was had the physical ability. I was willing to do the work, willing to help out, and they're just teaching me how to drive a tractor, how to do compost, and how to uh, drive the restaurants, and just do the business side. It was dope. It was dope. So I was really blown away, kind of shocked that he wasn't into Bitcoin, and that's what I just want to. You know what? That's what sparked my first uh, YouTube video. I don't even. I may have it on YouTube. I have to look, or I may. It's on Crypto Roots season season one. Cop that Crypto Roots season one, man. That my my early shit's not even on YouTube, man. There's Crypto Roots season two about to come out, man. So I watch my older shit. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, so that's when I did my first Bitcoin haters, Bitcoin doubters, and that's what sparked me. Was I was sitting alone. I was really fascinated about this Bitcoin thing. I was in a cabin. I had the Wi-Fi, and then. He's just, this dude I was living with who was kind of like pretty much my landlord was just like anti-Bitcoin and I'm like you know what hold up this dude has been complaining about governments complaining about Bi I had to listen to him complain about the fucking government and uh, Obama and Hillary and Trump like I have to hear all his older white man political views and it was kind of weird because I don't know it was it wasn't it, it, it was interesting you know they respected me and I respected them at the end of the day um, otherwise, I wouldn't have felt comfortable uh, staying there. Um, but so that's when I did my fit Bitcoin haters, Bitcoin downers, people who are like, yo, I hate the government, this and government tries to. But then when there's Bitcoin, they're like, no, anti Bitcoin. So that was the dude who, who sparked me to actually start my YouTube channel and make my first uh, crypto video. It's called Bitcoin Daters, Bitcoin uh, Haters, Bitcoin Doubters. And that's what really, I just wanted to express myself. I was like, yo, this dude's been hate, hating on Bitcoin hard. And then I got my, my, my woman, yo, yo, this Bitcoin shit. And I'm like, yo, this Bitcoin shit. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me just express myself on YouTube. And that's how I, I just, that's pretty much how I got here. So now, a lot of my memory is kind of fuzzy, but I ended up link, linking up with that dude, that her crypt, her crypto dude. On Maui and the reason I linked up with them because I was trying to buy Bitcoin and on my own this is all on my own man and I didn't never heard of coin I never heard of that but I heard of local bitcoins.com I guess that's where I tried to buy my first Bitcoin yeah so I was using local bitcoins.com I bought off some dude in China uh, it's all fuzzy but what happened was what happened was I fucked up my first, something fucked up my first Bitcoin trade. I spent $20, $25 and I lost it. And I'm like, wait, what is going on? Hold up. Cause I tried to like withdraw it and I'm like, wait, something's, my money, what, what's happened? So I tried again, $25, gone. I'm like, wow, is this shit a scam? Is this shit a scam? Like, what the fuck? Why am I losing my money? Is this shit? And I go to talk to other people like, no, that's not supposed to, no, that's not weird. And I go to talk to people and then I'm like, they're like, no, no, that's not supposed to happen. And then online, and then I go email the support off the uh, local Bitcoins. I'm like, yo, something's up. Like, I'm not getting my money. And they're like, yo, we're going to freeze your account until we figure out what's going on. And 
they're like, you need to something. You need to figure it out on your end. We're gonna freeze the account because we don't know if you're doing shady shit or somebody. We don't know what it is, but the Bitcoin's gonna be here or whatever. But you gotta figure it out. And I was just like, damn, this is this is that. So this is my first Bitcoin contract. Two of them gone. The first time I buy Bitcoin, man. And I'm like, yo, and, but everyone's telling me it's not how it's supposed to go. But like, this is how it's going. I've already lost about 50, 75 bucks. And I don't have that much money, man. And I'm just like, you know, so I'm like, fuck, man. So I was like stressing, stressing, like, what is, and then, so I try to go and try one more transaction. And then when I go and try it, I saw that it automatically changed the, uh, the address every time. And then I go to erase it and I go paste it again and it changes the address. And I'm like, whoa, something's up. It changes the address. And then I go tell support and like, yo, you got like a mal, you got like a malware virus or something. You, you, and then I don't know something I got like, and then I don't know something happened with that. Right. And then I didn't come to find out later that that was the copy and paste malware virus. Cause I got the computer from, uh, it was a $50 computer from this old computer dude. So I got a jankity ass computer, Windows something, like seven and shit. And no wonder like how it all just came down. <laughs> like, dude, my, I, I can't even believe it being a software engineer, just how in cryptocurrency, like how it started. Like I had the jankiest computer, like jankity, like sketchy, Craigslist, like fucking drug alley, sketchy, 50 bucks. Like dude, this dude just shitted it out, right? And my first Bitcoin transactions were just like fucking disappearing. I was just like, yo, I'm not good with computers. I'm not good with cryptocurrency. Maybe this shit ain't for me, man. Uh, and then check this out. Something happened. The the computer I got was from a, another computer from another woman on Maui. So I ended up getting all her photos. And then I was looking at all her photos. Not like creepy. It was my computer now. I didn't know what was going on. I figured out later it was another person on Maui. So she sold the computer to him and he sold it to me. So I was going through her photos and they were like 1970s, 1980 photos. And I was like, yo, and they were her real life. And and I was like, yo, cause she looks like a completely different person from all the photos and everything. And I was like, this is deep. Like this is some real deep shit. Like I wanna hold on to this for her. Like this is some really artistic pictures. Like just like I, how I can refurbish. And I was just like so blown away that I have this like great collection of photos and that I could go and like, hey, I, no creepo shit. I just ended up getting your computer. Here's your photos back. Or like I could repurpose them because I didn't want to freak her out and like repurpose them and make some art out of them somewhere. Like, you know, I was just like, yo, just hold on to this, right? So that's why I kept the computer. What happened was, I don't know what happened, but one day, like I tried to open up the photos and then it, I, it wouldn't work. And then I tried to open up the photo and it, and it and I was like, wait, what the fuck? This not this this, this how's this happening? Like none of it was readable. None of it was an image. It was there, but it wasn't readable. And I'm like, yo, so and then I got a pop-up that's saying you're ransomware, you owe us three Bitcoin, we encrypted your whole hard drive. Uh you need to pay us three Bitcoin in this address, otherwise we're not gonna encrypt your and I was just like, What the fuck is going on? I just got rid of I went and I just like I'm not I'm not I'm not using this computer anymore for any crypto shit anything this shit is just tainted beyond belief and it's it's so I realized it was the computer whatever it was and I didn't know much about computer, but I knew I needed a new computer so I went I just luckily had enough money from the farmers market to go and buy uh, like a $300 computer on Amazon and then I got that shit shipped to me because I'm in the mountains and shit and then I'm like, all right, cool. And then I go and try it again. And then, all right, so I was like, get rid of this fucking computer. So I went and resold it to somebody else. But I told him what was up with it. Um, so, yeah, the copy and malpaste virus. I, I, I was a victim of that. My first, first, first couple Bitcoin transactions. Enough to just say most people, like, and it got me down, man. But I was like, no, no, something's up. You got to keep pushing. You got to figure it out. And then I got the uh, 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 ransomware. They took and encrypted my whole hard drive, everything, all those pictures, and for Bitcoin. And I didn't have enough money. I didn't have enough Bitcoin. So I was just like, yo, fuck this computer, man. 
Um, so that that's for real shit. That was like that's my journey to being a software computer um, cryptocurrency dude. Now, because I was so down, I eventually met up with um, I eventually met up with that computer dude that my my woman had right that that was her friend. And I will go to his house. He's like, oh, uh, she's been telling me about you. You seem like a cool dude, cool dude. Yeah. So I finally get up and I meet him alone. And he's just super stoner white dude, like super stoner. I'm like, all right, me and this dude's already going to get along. And he's got a bunch of these computers out, like a computer tech dude. And I'm like, whoa, this dude's like really on his like computer shit. And then I was just blown away. Like just that whole, I can't even remember, but he told me about Ethereum and about exchanges and about Bitcoin. And then another dude came over that was like, he was curious too. And he's like, yo, to hear him talk about crypto. And I was just like blown away. Like, whoa, this is like a whole nother world. And like, if only a few people are into it, but it's like a global thing. These people are making money. Everybody's making money. Ethereum, I was just like, and I was so down. I'm like, yo, man, I don't know what's up. I can't get my Bitcoin thing. I bought it. I keep losing money. He's like, that's not how it's supposed to work. He's like, you know what? Here, download the wallet, and I'm like, what's a crypto? He's like, download it. And I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, write down those words. I'm like, okay, cool. And he's like, here, I'm gonna send you your first Bitcoin. He sent me my first five dollars of Bitcoin. I finally and I got it, and I was like, wow, cool. He's like, yeah, man, it's that's how it's supposed to work. And I'm like, wow. He's just like, and that that means a lot to me. That's the only reason I probably kept pushing was the dude was like, yo, like that's unusual. Don't trip. Just download a wallet. I'll give you your first Bitcoin right now. So to like kind of shut me up and like, yo, you're not missing out. It's like anybody. And, I, but when it did it, I was like, wow, this is real. It, it was just some faulty shit. Like, it's not me like da, 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 da. And like, there is hope after all. And you know, there are like-minded people and that's what really sparked it. Unfortunately. And cause he just had the knowledge, dude, he had the knowledge and I wanted to, to learn from him so much. I really wanted him to be my crypto mentor because he just knew everything. But I don't know, he was kind of like me, just a stoner dude who never really just like, eh, eh, eh. And kind of just, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but he never got back in touch with me and I was just really disappointed inside because I really wanted to learn a lot. So I was just by myself. So I said, fuck it, I, I can't wait for somebody to come and teach me. So I'm gonna sit here and figure it out. If that dude can smoke weed all day and make a living from his fucking, you know, make a really good living, <laughs> like really good living, just smoking weed, being on a the computer, then fuck it, I can do to it, do it too, man. So that's what, that's pretty much like, what sparked the journey, man, uh, was, yeah, that's how I create. that's the whole backstory of how I created my first YouTube video, my first Bitcoin transactions, I got copy paste virus, I got ransomware, like, I just had, and you know what I'm saying, and then I got overcharged on some of the so I went through it like literally like I went through it but that was some of the best investment money I could have ever spent because you know it changed my my just the way I saw money the way I saw technology the way I saw everything and um, yeah that was that was that was the start of my Bitcoin journey man it wasn't pleasant man <laughs> It wasn't pleasant, and I'm surprised. I dealt with more problems than the average regular day Windows computer do. Uh, but for some reason, I stuck with it, and it was the best decision I ever made. So, much love. I just wanted to share that with you. So, just if you're new on your crypto journey, keep grinding. It's not as difficult. This computer shit is not as hard. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm telling you. You know me. I burn all motherfucking day. But that doesn't knock me off my hustle of just uh, teaching and technology. I'm always working. So uh, check the links out in the description. Support your boy. Buy me a pizza if you know what I'm saying. Whatever, you know, just, you know, it'll help. It really does. It shows me people appreciate it. And, you know, I just keep, you know, keep producing for you guys. Aloha. Take care.